Hello, my name is Anna Dobrovska. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to transform Excel tables into RDF. Moreover, I'll show you how to create links to other datasets, for example, DBpedia and Europeana. We'll be working on Google Refine and RDF extension to Google Refine. In our example, we have three tables. One describes the authors, the second books, and the third one, the relations between authors and books. Moreover, we can also notice that authors and books have unique IDs. Okay, so now let's focus on RDF graph. Uh, as we know, we have unique IDs which refer to author's name, and we also have a table which has unique IDs and it refers to books titles. The third table shows us the relations between authors and books, so we also have to include it in our RDF graph. Uh, this is the basic structure. Moreover, we also want to find some connections to external data sources, such as DBpedia and Europeana. Another extra information which you can add to our graph is the relation. So ID refers to a name, author's name. Books ID refers to the title, book title. And author is a creator of a book. Uh, we also can build the same as relation uh, between our graph and links to DBpedia and Europeana. OK, so let's get started. We need to have Google Refine installed, so you can just take it directly from the website and RDF extension to Google Refine. Uh, when you download RDF extension, you just have to place this file into the following directory. Now we can start Google Refine. The first thing we have to do is to create a project. We have to locate our Excel file and click Next. Uh, we are now moved to the view in which we can do the first pre-processing of the data. First of all, we don't need the first actually four rows. Therefore, we ignore the first four rows. As we see, the last row actually becomes our uh, headers, which is good. Moreover, we don't have to store blank rows and cells. Therefore, we uncheck these two boxes. We can update the preview and create a project. As we see, we still have two empty columns, so we can delete them. Moreover, our column names, especially for names and books, are not very informative. That's why I will modify them a little bit. In order to find links between our dataset and external data sources, we have to add two reconciliation services, pointing out respectively to DBpedia and Europeana Sparkle endpoints. We add a reconciliation service based on Sparkle endpoints. Uh, first, we'll add DBpedia, so the name is DBpedia. The URL is dbpedia.org slash sparkle. Uh, it's of a type virtuoso and will be um, selecting properties based on the RDFS label. The next Sparkle endpoint will be a Europeana with the following URL. Even though it's a virtuoso, unfortunately it doesn't really work with the setting, so we leave a generic Sparkle endpoint. Um, moreover, in this case, we will be selecting properties based on DC title, not RDFS label. Okay, so now we can start reconciling. We start from author's column. We use DBpedia. Since we know we are talking about writers, we can simply choose to reconcile each cell to an entity writer. And we start reconciling. We see that we have a perfect match this time. However, we, we still can click on one of the results and see whether it's a proper match. Okay. So since we have reconciliation results, we can now export them to a separate column. To do so first, we have to give a unique name for a column. In this case, it will be author's URI from DBpedia. We also have to write a grill expression, which take the reconciliation information from our cell, I look for the match, extract the ID, and uh, write it as a separate URL. Then we just have to click OK. We repeat the same process for book titles. This time we also choose DBpedia. However, since we know that we talk about books, we can use entity type book. This time we see that we don't have a perfect match. Therefore, we either have to choose something from the list or we'll have to find uh, reconciliation results ourselves. If we are satisfied with the result, then we can approve it or we can try to find reconciliation result ourselves.
To do so, we have to open the list. Sometimes it's enough to type a keyword and see what kind of results we get out of them. If we are satisfied of what we found, we can simply approve it. Uh, this way we are able to manually help the system to find reconciliation match. Again, we pull out the reconciliation results to a separate column with a meaningful name. We repeat again the reconciliation process for autos and books, but this time we'll be using Europeana reconciliation service. This service will be way slower, but it gives appropriate results. This time we'll be reconciling against no particular type, that's why we have to choose this particular feature and the reconciliation process will take a little bit longer. In this case we got worse results because we didn't reconcile against any particular type, uh, but we are still able to find proper match. It just takes longer. We can again use either the list of reconciliation results or we can do it manually. Sometimes if we don't see all the results, uh, it, it means that we have to close all the filters which we have open on the left. Again, we move reconciliation results to a separate column, we name it in a proper way, and we repeat the same process for Europeana and for books. Again, we reconcile against no particular type, which means that reconciliation results will be very weak. In this actually case, we'll leave only two reconciliation results, for the rest we couldn't find a proper match. Even for this result, we create a separate column. This way we were able to find links between our datasets and external data sources. Right now we'll focus on creating RDF out of our data. To do so, we have to click RDF button and then edit RDF skeleton. As we mentioned before, we want to connect author's ID, which is of a type person, to author's name. And the property between them is both name. We also create same as connection to URIs linking our data to external data sources. We won't need the rest of the properties which were automatically generated. We create another tree for books, connect it through DC title to a name of the book, Actually, we don't have Dublin Core prefix, therefore we have to add it first. When we already have it, we again can connect it through DC title. Again, we add connections to previously created URIs. In order to define relations between authors and books, we'll have to create the third tree with the node author's ID, which will be connected through property creator to books ID. Moreover, we also have to change base URI. We'll use example.org. Moreover, we know that ID2 is of a type book. When we look at the preview, 
see that the preview you can spot small mistakes which we made. For example, base URI should be finished with slash. We see that um, RDF extension doesn't really see the difference between books ID and author's ID. That's why we have to create appropriate grill expression where we connect author to the value of the column, which is an ID. However, in those two cells in which we didn't have a value, uh, we'll get the wrong results. That's why we have to write an if statement. And if the value is empty, we should rename it to null. We repeat the same for books, but in this case we see that it's enough only to type book slash book ID. We have to repeat the same for the bridge between authors and books. When we look at RDF preview, we still see that we don't get appropriate results because it refers to book slash tree. Um, and we know that we want to have a link to appropriate book. Therefore, we still have to modify a little bit the skeleton. In order to set it properly, we have to change it from text to URI. When we look at it right now, we see that we have proper links with, between authors and books. This way, we were able to create RDF from simple tables in Excel file. The only thing which we have to do now is to export our RDF. We can do it either in turtle format or RDF XML. So this is it. This is how we create links to external data sources and then RDF based on the file which we had in Excel. Thank you for your attention. I hope it was very helpful.